Lucif Gonzalez poll shows 65% of those surveyed say crime is the number one issue in Baltimore. So in response, House Republicans in Annapolis uh, have unveiled a series of criminal justice bills. Political reporter John Rydell is at the State House with a look at those proposals. Well, some of these bills are very similar to the ones unveiled by Governor Hogan this week, and they focus on two main issues, repeat violent offenders and creating more transparency in the judicial system. To state lawmakers, crime is certainly not just a Baltimore City problem. And with more Marylanders becoming victims, House Republicans are responding. We do see the governor taking some action. They're supporting several bills focused on the most violent offenders. Under current law, violent offenders can be paroled after serving just 50% of their sentence. One bill would require they serve 90% of their sentence. And another bill would make stealing a gun a felony. It is Marylanders that are living in fear to walk through their own community, to go to the grocery store, to go to church, to go to work. We must do better. You obviously need Democratic support to get these bills enacted. Have you reached out to Democrats? What is their response? Well, this is the rollout of our package of bills, and our next step is to engage Democrats in the conversation because, of course, we want everything to be bipartisan. And when it comes to crime bills, Governor Hogan agrees. We've got to get our Democratic colleagues on board to support some of these things. I've mentioned before, and I'll keep saying it, um, people are dying in the streets every day in Baltimore City. Now, another bill being supported by Republicans would allow cameras in the courtroom during sentencing, but that bill has failed to pass in past years due to stiff opposition from judges and prosecutors. In Annapolis, John Rydell, Fox 45 News. In two shootings.